Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the Thinking Crypto YouTube channel. My name is Tony. On this channel, we cover the news, facts, and sentiments that are happening in this new crypto asset class. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, also smash the like button, and this is not financial or investment advice. Let's take a look at the market here. Bitcoin currently sitting at $10,437, Ethereum at $219, XRP at $0.32. Cents. We are seeing a bit of a pullback, slight pullback, but uh, very important is that Bitcoin is over 10,000. It's at least maintaining some level of support level above 10,000. And that's definitely important. Uh, I'm looking to see if we can hit 11 within the next few days. Um, and then, of course, uh, continue to work our way back up the next big psychological price barrier, uh, I believe, is 15,000. And we will see the FOMO continue to grow as Bitcoin's price increases and the altcoins, of course, follow Bitcoin's lead. So let's take a look at some of the news here, guys. We got some big updates around backed, and it's coming from a fun strat strategist. Back futures to launch in the current quarter. So managing director and quant strategist at Fundstrat Global Advisors, Sam Doctor, suggested in a Twitter post uh, published on July 19th that Back's Bitcoin futures contracts will launch this quarter. According to the post, which includes a summary of Fundstrat's takeaways from the Backed Digital Asset Summit, which was held recently on July 18th, the firm's futures will launch in the current quarter. The launch is set to follow tests announced last month, which will which are scheduled to start this week. So they're going to start the testing this week and they're going to launch sometime this quarter. We are in Q3. So uh, this would fit within the timeline day that they had mentioned. So we could probably see a launch maybe towards the end of Q3 around September. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the firm believes that the launch will be a catalyst to accelerate entry of traditional institutional investors. Uh, the post notes the uh, there appears to be a critical mass of adopters ready to become or excuse me to come on board on day one of the backed launch, which uh, with sales teams gaining traction among bankers, market makers, prop trading desks and liquidity providers guys um, so you have the institutional money ready to FOMO and many have already started getting in in different avenues with other firms hedge funds investment firms and so on so um, how likely is you know their launch this quarter well if you guys have been a subscriber to the channel I've been talking about the CFTC recently approving TD Ameritrade's Eris X, um, big, uh, excuse me, physically settled Bitcoin futures. They also did the same for Ledger X. So I believe um, Bact is going to be next. And Bact has been, made some acquisitions, done some tweaking, applied for their bit license, done a lot of things to help improve their uh, provability, right? Their, their approvability where they can get approved by the CFTC. Um, so I believe they're very close and it's going to be a major player, guys. I mean, powered by the, the parent company of the New York Stock Exchange in partnership with Starbucks and Microsoft. And I know many of you are probably annoyed because back set their launch date since last year and it didn't happen. But, you know, part of that was not their fault is the CFTC dragging their feet because Eris X applied, Ledger X applied. They now got their approvals. So the CFTC is at least making progress. The government's having dialogue around Bitcoin and crypto. The president's talking about it. The Treasury Secretary's talking about it. So we are at a new tipping point, a new uh, time in, in, in crypto here. And here is Sam Doctor's full post. So once again, Bact had their you know their digital summit and they took they had some uh, takeaways here. So the touch excuse me the test launch is going to happen tomorrow, um, July 22nd. So that's great that things are moving ahead. I, I would love for it to move ahead faster, but you know it is what it is and we just got to be patient. But guys big money they're not slowing down regardless of the roller coaster ride i know many of you have been frustrated with certain price points of certain tokens but you have to understand how early we are you have to understand the need for regulatory clarity and approval from the government and so on and so forth so speaking of big money fidelity we got an update here fidelity's crypto arm has officially applied to operate in new york as a trust so fidelity digital assets was of course launched to provide crypto trading and um, custody services and so on and so forth so fidelity digital assets um has filed to become has filed its application to be a new york trust um, it, the firm was of course launched in october um, and uh it's 
primarily for institutional clients, a New York trust license would allow it to serve New York traders in all realms of its business. So they're looking to expand to get their their in personal infrastructure together so they can service many different clients. So like I said, guys, they are not worried about the prices right now. They're looking long term and that's how smart money operates. So uh, if the if its application is successful, Fidelity Digital Assets would be cleared to add New York to a handful of states in which it currently operates its custody business for digital assets. This is the latest development for the provider of storage and trading solutions for Bitcoin, allowing it to go ahead with rivals like Coinbase, which secured qualified custodian designation in October alongside firms Gemini and Paxos. In May, Bloomberg reported that the firm was stretching beyond its custody business, preparing to launch uh, the launch of its broker services to trade on behalf of who? Institutional clients. On the custody side, the firm has been courting traditional asset managers as well as crypto native firms, according to people familiar with the situations. Uh, Fidelity Digital Assets also now joins the likes of ICE, which is which uh, has their crypto platform backed, which we just talked about, which has also applied for their New York trust license to be qual a qualified custodian to store Bitcoin and underpinning its futures contracts. So these big players are moving ahead. Nothing is stopping them. Now they may be get they may get delayed because they're waiting on you know the CFTC and whoever else, but they still are investing, building out, making acquisitions, filing for their applications and licenses. So I hope you guys uh, would uh, understand what's being set up here and built here, and understand patience is a key here. We have to wait a bit more, but it's good to see that progress is being made, and we are headed towards crypto being uh, fully mainstream, fully marketed and offered to both retail and institutional clients. Now, let's say back launches um, their service uh, by September. Will that catapult the price of Bitcoin? I think the, the news factor will, right, the FOMO. But as far as, um, you know, the buying and selling, I we'd have to wait and see because they could have already accumulated all the Bitcoin they needed to deliver their physically delivered Bitcoin futures contracts um, and they most likely bought OTC as I've been talking about OTC on this channel for a long time over-the-counter trading so it's not recorded on the public exchanges it doesn't affect prices but of course long term it's going to help drive the demand and drive prices up for Bitcoin and other assets because many of these firms are going to start with Bitcoin and then go down the list Ethereum XRP Litecoin and so forth so uh, the altcoins will get added but they're going to start with Bitcoin first so guys big things ahead what do you think about this news i want to hear your thoughts and comments leave them below thumbs up if you like this video if you found this video helpful please share it with your friends and family so we can educate people about what's happening in the market we're looking at facts here we're not making stuff up we're not over speculating right um this is straight from the horse's mouth here and we are seeing big players, traditional financial players getting into crypto. Um, also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Would really appreciate that. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, and I'll talk to you all later. Mm -hmm.